morning, Parkview family and parents. We are very excited to be here today with week three of the principal's messages. And to get started today, I would like to thank all um, parents for getting your kids to school for our Badger exam testing. Um, so far, so good. We have had students with earbuds. We have had students taking it very seriously. And we have had um, teachers and all adults in the building pretty much going with the flow on the adjustments that we have to make as we find out that some tests take a little bit longer than what the anticipated time was. And then at times we're done in 45 minutes or less for a 60 minute test. So it's been a really good week. We're looking forward to wrapping it up next week and getting back to our normal routine at Parkview. So thank you so much. Please continue to send the earbuds every day next week. I just want to give a shout out to the bike to school. That was Wednesday. Um, we had around 100 kids participate and it was a rainy day. Um, I was at an activity. I did not ride my bike in from Highway 41, um, but I did get to walk to school with some kids and, and multiple kids got dropped off and biking. So uh, big success and thank you for everyone that participated in the bike to school. And by the time of the taping, or by the time of playing the taping, I should say, for all of you, we will have uh, announced the winner of the new Trek bike. So maybe your child is the winner. We look forward to finding out who that's going to be. Uh, we're also having the dance. The dance will be tonight. Um, we have right at about this time 150 kids signed up. It should be an amazing time. Um, I know Ms. Hutzik was saying in announcements that I have some dance moves. Mm -hmm. I have been participating in some wee dance at home, so um, <laughs> I'm hoping that I am ready. The Cotton Eye Joe is my uh, best routine. So uh, tonight will be the dance. Uh, we hope that we have a great time, and I, I know that there's some great events events that's going to be taking place. Uh, the jousting, I had a few students want to uh, box me. I have no clue why they would want to box Mr. Carter, um, but I'm thinking it's all for good, right? That's good to hear. Nobody's, nobody said they wanted to box me. I like that. Well, they want a little bit of a challenge. So. Oh, oh, sorry. So, okay, speaking of a challenge, jousting. I've been practicing up on my jousting, so I look forward to trying to take you down on that. Good. Okay, it's going to be great fun for all. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Uh, May 11th and May 12th, that's next week, Monday and Tuesday already, uh, we are going to be having our Scholastic Book Fair. It will be open in the library during the school day, and I believe that all English language arts teachers are going to be taking their classes to the LMC. Uh, but you, parents and family members, could also come shop um, later on, on May 11th and 12th. What events are going on that they can shop at? Well, we are going to have our spring ba band concert and choir concert. So the band concerts on May 11th and the choir concerts on May 12th. Um, you know, I was there in the fall and it was a great concert and I'm very excited to see uh, what they've been learning and, and giving this performance in the spring. So I know there's going to be some special treats there. What would be the special treat that is going to be there? Oh, it's the annual AMPA Blizzard Sale. So Dairy Queen will be providing three different flavors of blizzards. I think one is like a caramel, truffle, mocha, something that sounds fantastic. Um, but bring $3.50 for you and each of your family members to purchase a blizzard and support our Music Parents Association. They will be sold both nights um, between the concerts. Concerts. And the other uh, fun event that's going to be occurring during those two evenings is our annual art show. Uh, Mrs. Gary and Ms. Becker are working hard to um, get their students' artwork uh, ready to go for display. So check out, for, check out the comments for um, artwork that your child may have done in uh, his or her quarter elective class. Okay, uh, looking ahead a bit, but giving you um, a heads up so that you can make sure to put it on your calendar, on Tuesday, May, May 19th, will be our last parent-faculty club meeting of this school year. We're going to be meeting 6.15 to 7.30 in the multi-purpose room. Um, we hope that you can join us as we wrap up this year and talk about uh, future plans for our parent-faculty club in the upcoming year. 
following that meeting, we will be having our eighth grade parent meeting for any eighth grade parents who would like to um, get caught up on what we are planning for the last week of school for the eighth graders, but then also um, just to volunteer for anything if you haven't already done so. We have a lot of hardworking parents of eighth graders who are going to really make it a special picnic for our eighth grade students and also um, a fabulous eighth grade recognition ceremony. I think the decorations are going to be are going to be spectacular. So we can look forward to that and we hope that you will join us. Okay, um, my last reminder is um, parent student information forms. Those were due on Friday, May 1st, and we are still um, seeking help with getting those in. Those forms are important because in the event of an emergency, uh, which we never want to have one, but we, but we um, do need to be able to reach parents and or emergency contacts, so we need that information updated. Uh, by August when school is getting in session. So if you have not yet submitted that, please, please send it with your child to uh, his or her homeroom teacher. Thank you for your help with that. The last thing that I have is uh, this whole week we've been celebrating Teacher Appreciation Week. Um, I just want to say how thankful I am to work in a building with such dedicated staff members. Um, I know this is my first year here, but just coming in and seeing the um, how the how the staff interacts with students, interacts among staff members, um, just a wonderful place to work. And I know it's all um, based on what our staff brings every day. So a big thank you to our staff of what they do. Agreed. Thank you very much, Parkview staff. Um, we appreciate your efforts day in and day out. Um, we would not be as successful of a school without each and every one of you. And um, it is one of the reasons that we have many students coming here for open enrollment each and every year. So thank you, Parkview staff. Um, thank you to all of the Eshwabanon School District teachers. And we hope that each and every one of you families have a great weekend ahead. Thank you very much, Parkview families. We'll see you next week. Keep, Keep it real, Parkview. Parkview.